Just ask yourself, can we really afford not to do it? Please convey this to Dame Alex. Look, I'm telling you, there's no way she'd agree. You seem to be having fun. Mind if I join in on the pleasantries? Huh? Dame Alex? Um, we can explain everything. Don't trouble yourself, Chickadee. I'll hear it from him directly. I want to hold a tech summit with Colony 30. <laughs> Continue. I know you're reluctant. But now that we've been released from the flame clock and the wall between Kevis and Agnes has crumbled, now's the perfect time to institute a tech exchange. If it's successful, it could even lead to stronger, more lasting peace. You had problems with Colony 30 in the past? We fought against them before, just once, but they absolutely wiped the floor with us. Never before or since has Dame Alex misread an enemy to that degree. The bitter aftertaste from that event has lingered for years, giving us all headaches. Who's bitter at whom now? It doesn't sound half bad. Let's have a technology summit. Really? Dame Alex? Kevis' Colony 30 stands at the forefront of technology. This is not a problem in the slightest. Truly, not even a speck of one. Now we've done it. Chickadee, contact Colony 30. Tell them I'm coming. Yes, understood. Gambert, we will rendezvous there. I'll bring results home, you'll see. Of course, Mom. I'll depart on the double. They've definitely got skills there, but this is Valdi we're talking about. I don't think you need to get so worked up. Suppose I told you that Colony 30 was currently struggling with an urgent water shortage. What would you imagine? Huh? Well, I don't know. Burst water mains or something? Or their spring dried up? Incorrect. The right answer was big cleaning project at the colony. Oh, you have got to be joking. Regrettably, I am not. It really happened. That does kind of sound like Valdi, though, huh? There are also many Nopon living there. They tend to follow their own unique rules. Precisely. They are unique, and therefore worth studying in greater depth. Knowing your opponent and preparing accordingly, that is the foundation of any battle. Do you still consider Colony 30 your enemy then, Alexandria? This isn't about enemies or allies. All I'm saying is that the side that gets careless loses. So your strategy is outright distrust then? What are you trying to say? Hurt others first to avoid being hurt yourself. Do you think that's logical? It's a matter of opinion. And you're entitled to that. Say what you will, but they've got a good colony over there. Ah, oh, right. If you don't mind, could we attend this technology summit of yours? We could help introduce you and Valdi, too. Yes. I dare say with you by my side, they may be less guarded than otherwise. I suppose I may require your assistance. Huh! Would you believe it? Colony relations change, looks like. Whoa! Whoa! This... this is all just... 
so over the top! Yes, though mainly your reaction. Ah! Welcome, welcome. I've been waiting. Hey, pal. How you doing? Not too shabby, I suppose. Riku, Chief! Manana! Brentaldi! Manana missed, friend! <laughs> yeah. No need to be shy, Chief. I envy you your energy levels, bud. It has been a while. I'm glad to see you in high spirits. Thank you. And yes, I'm pretty good. Um, who's this? <laughs> She's the commander from Colony Iota. You got the message, right? Oh, you're anti Alexandria. Thanks for reaching out. It's Alexandria, actually. It would honor me greatly if you'd remember. Alexandria. A pleasure to meet you. I'm the commander of Colony 30, Valdi. will be my first technology summit. I'm really excited about this. I myself, not so much. Hey now. Really? You don't like Levinus's? I don't, especially yours. I see. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Then I hope that by the end of the day, you'll have learned to love them just as much as I do. You're a credit to your colony, Commander. But don't you think you should be on your guard, even a little? Why would I? We have no reason to fight. You might be the only one who thinks that. <laughs> Obviously not. If I was, the others wouldn't have brought you. You trust them, don't you? Just as you do, right, Alexandria? Yes, of course. Hmm. All right, then. Let me show you around. There's lots of stuff on the ground, so you'll have to watch your step. I have nothing to hide from friends, but feel free to look around. Colony relations change, looks like. Valdi seems happy, doesn't he? I bet he doesn't get to show off like this very often. I love it. Everywhere I turn, there's hard-working Nopon. Oh, they're not working. They're just doing their own thing. They snooze when they're sleepy and meet when they're hungry. Sometimes they just wander off. Still, they look quite busy. What might they be making? So, just listen to this. I've been thinking about it a while. We're looking into constructing a smaller, stronger levels, focusing on three pillars. Durability, serviceability, and ease of use. Actually, the whole premise of our work, like fixing things, might need rethinking. If you put too many features on one levelist, then you need more time and parts, and it ends up costly and hard. Not to mention the handling, so to get out of the cycle. All right, calm down now. Huh? But I was calm. <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs> <clears throat> this new model's design is really very interesting. Thank you. I'm happy you think so. Oh, hey, do you want to work with us? We've just been looking for team members for Project Bingo. Bingo? It's what I'm calling this new model. I was thinking about it, and when I figured it out, it was like, Bingo. So we named it that. Sounds great. I spend lots of time thinking about stuff too. So I'd love some hands-on experience to really improve and... Gambert? By which, of course, I mean... Do you have any units in a state closer to completion? Sure I do. 
I just made friends with one such unit recently, in fact. What do you mean, friends? I'll introduce you. She's in the hangar over there. How many Levnesses does he have here? These are his friends. Uh, don't worry too much about it. This is Valdi we're talking about. Ah, oh, there she is. What the? Wait, wait, wait. Robo Buddy is a friendly. Robo Buddy? <laughs> It's this little one's name. Where'd you pick it up? Oh, she was strolling about outside. It must have been on patrol, dude. Did you have to go and drag it in? It doesn't treat Kevesi as hostiles. Or does it not even distinguish between Kevis and Agnes? But why would that be? Some error in the control circuits? There's no errors here, and she's not broken. You're conversant with Agnian technology? No way. I guess I dabble, but there's tons of stuff I don't understand there. That's why I started tinkering with those that I do. First, the question of how Agni and Autolevs operate autonomously. I think it's mostly to do with ether signaling, but I figured if we could break it down, we might be able to transmit stuff back to them from our side as well. Anyway, I spent ages racking my brain about it, but if you look at stuff like friend or foe identification, it gets mixed up. Wait, wait, back up. Are you saying you can control it? Well, it's not that precise, really. But at least we're friends now. Right? Is this for real? If they actually succeed at implementing this at scale... Yeah. It would turn the rules of engagement right on their sparking head. Valdi, what are you having RoboBuddy do? Just moving and disposing of materials. It's still in the test phase, so we're keeping things simple. And which section is in charge? That would be the bingo guys. Why? Why don't I ask you straight? Are you planning to use it as a weapon? No flipping way. I would never. She's not for fighting. I made friends with her to stay friends with her. Well, if that's the case, then it would seem you've missed your mark. Your friend seems to have other plans. Robo buddy, why? No use debating it. Ready arms. Buddy. Well, that makes things clear. Somebody within Colony 30 has been secretly misappropriating materials. Misappropriating? What are you talking about? Look at the Collectopedia card. You said the three pillars for your new Levness were durability, serviceability, and ease of use. However, You'll notice that the materials RoboBuddy was collecting were waning lapis and vanolium. A brittle rock and a highly scarce metal. What ought we to think about that? Oh, you're right. This isn't what I asked for. But uh, hang on, Alexandria. How did you know to check our Collectopedia cards? I asked her to. I figured it might help. But it looks like I was right. Do you have any idea who the culprit might be? Not at all. Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. No, RoboBuddy clearly turned hostile and attacked us. Which is to say, it must have been under the control of someone other than Valdi. But what were they after? Might it have been to make a poison? Poison? Yes. 
Both of those materials contained certain toxic compounds. Of particular note is the lack of identifiable scent or flavor. When mixed in with food, they're nearly unnoticeable. Well, someone's well-read. Our consul had some shady hobbies, and he liked to talk. So, what would happen if you swallowed it? Depending on the concentration, dizziness, numbness, diarrhea, emesis, and in more severe cases... Ugh, enough, enough! Oh, fantastic! I managed to retrieve the logs. If we analyze them, we should be able to figure out where it came from. Is that okay? A-OK -okay by me. We gotta stop the baddies. All right, then. Sorry to use your friend like this. Looks like the friendship part might have all been in my head. But thanks for thinking of it that way, anyway. Honestly, such carelessness. Alexandria? You've been looking sad all this time. Hmm? Is something the matter? Anything we could help with? I'm used to all this, and I hate it. Alex? Did you hear me? It's nothing. You don't have to worry. All right. Analysis is complete. You can unpack the data whenever. Good job, Gambert. Why don't you wait here? Commander? I trust I can leave my man with you? Huh? I thought I'd be going with you. But there may be other machines like RoboBuddy. You're the only one who can tell them apart. Let's tackle both threads simultaneously. Yeah, okay. I'll stay in the colony this time, then. Give Robo Buddy's boss my regards. What's your opinion on this? It's mostly aligned with yours. There's something else going on here.
was a nice find. It stopped its digging. Oh, it dropped something. This was a nice find. Alex, are you okay? You're not looking too well. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about the past. This is where the logs run out. Let's search the surroundings. No, hold on. Past there is... <laughs> I didn't for a minute dream you'd fall for the oldest trick in the book. Dear Ouroboros, how do we ever fear you? I know that screech. It's the consul from Valdez. So he's alive? If I died so easily, I'd be a human. But as fortune has it, I... Hey, I'm still talking here. I'm sorry. I couldn't care less. How primitive can you get? You didn't really think you'd fooled me. No. Ha! I knew you for a craven, Alex. You were plainly going to secure the retreat. Oh, so you do have two brains to have. Everything's going numb. <laughs> A very special litmus that was. Oh, it isn't fast acting, so relax. I formulated it for the wool supply, you see. You're after Colony 30. It doesn't matter so much where. The important thing is the water. It will soon become the object of the most vicious raid! You worm! However, seeing as you're here, I might arrange a whole different playtime. <gasps> we can create a tableau of your little act of betrayal and see how you like it when you're the one being poisoned! Act of betrayal? <laughs> Mother! Stop spewing your idiot lies! Oh dear, you haven't told your friends then. Well then. I guess they're no friends of yours! <laughs> Drilled by the killer old commander! She brewed up a poison to make him weak, 
Things tasted like he died in battle. Even better. She made her accomplices, team leaders to shut them up. And they're still chumming it up today. Alex. He's telling the truth. I regret nothing. He wasted men and resources. Clung to outdated tactics. If his tyranny continued, Iota would surely have collapsed. Oh, how prisoner! How ghastly! Never knowing when one might die once. Unable to trust your friends. <laughs> I go so far as to say they lost their trust in me. That's right. And so, I'm not asking you to trust me.
Too close for comfort. You can say that again. Oi! What the spark were you playing at? I seriously thought you'd snuff it. Hey, I trust you. I knew you'd make it in time. Probably. What? On what basis? Well, I didn't exactly have time to ponder it. You smug little clod. Please don't frighten me like that. But why? How can you do those things? You could have died. Yes, but that's just Noah's way. How have you survived this long if you're always so careless? I'm telling you, we count on one another. That's how we've learned to do it. Perhaps I'm not explaining it right. But in any case, I think there's something rather elegant at the heart of it. So that's what you call strategy? I swear, you Ouroboros must be the most peculiar people I've met. Too peculiar to trust? If you were, I'd have been long gone. Thank you for trusting me. Right back at you. Let's get back to Valdi. He's probably getting worried. Welcome back, you guys. That was shocking news you sent. Didn't think I'd hear about Q again. I'm sorry about putting you through that. Don't worry about it. We've gotten a lot out of the bargain as well, I assure you. And I'm sure Gambert has been absorbing it all like a sponge. Dame Alex, about that. Respectfully, there's something I'd like to discuss, if you please. You want to stay here, don't you? How did you know? The Nupon are staring. Well then, Valdi, what would you say if I proposed a temporary staff exchange? Gamber, for one of your mechanics? 
Dame Alex. Really? I think it would be intellectually stimulating for both our sides. All right, sounds cool. Let me quickly talk to my buds. Dame Alex, what's... Uh, what's brought this on? Pardon? Brought what on? Ah, uh, never mind. We got the okay. They say they'll move ASAP. Very good. This should help foster better relations between our colonies. What do you mean, better? We're already fast friends. You're right. <laughs> I misspoke. Gambit, come on. Gotta introduce you to everyone. Huh? What? Now? Hey, hang on! Well, that's one thing taken care of. Right. About that. We won't tell anyone about what Q said. I mean, it's not like you could get court-martialed for it at this point. For the record, though, I can't say I approve of your methodology. Indeed. If you try something like that again, well, we'll just have to stop you. And then we'll put our heads together to come up with a less bloody way. So no more agonizing alone, got it? That's reassuring. If that's how you really feel, then let us help you. That is, since we're friends now and all. I... Hmm? Uh, thank you. Sure. And thank you too. Wow. That was for saving me earlier? I hadn't had a chance to say it sooner. You really didn't have to. It would have eaten at me if I didn't. I have to say, I thought you were more chill than that, Alexandria. Ah, She's actually kind of a sweetheart, ain't she? What? Are you making fun of me? It's just a bit of friendly banter. You'll get used to it in no time. So she's learned how to open up a little. Good for her. Would you believe it? 